Type 1 A Type 1 civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that has achieved complete control over the energy resources of its home planet. This means it can harness all available energy from sources like the sun, wind, geothermal, and nuclear power to meet its needs. A Type 1 civilization might also have the technology to control and manage the planet's weather. This could include preventing natural disasters like hurricanes or controlling rainfall to eliminate droughts. Currently, humanity is not yet a Type 1 civilization, but we're steadily moving in that direction. Philip Metzger, a planetary scientist and co-founder of the Space Resources Program, predicts that nuclear and renewable energy alone won't be enough to power Earth as coal and oil run out. He suggests that humanity needs to start a 100-year project to develop spacecraft and mining operations in space, like on asteroids or the moon, to bring essential materials back to Earth. However, one of the few solutions we have left before harvesting resources from outer space is developing and safely utilizing nuclear fusion as it offers a nearly limitless source of clean energy. Achieving a Type 1 civilization would require a high degree of global cooperation, a foundation our civilization has already laid through the Internet. This intercontinental communication network facilitates the widespread sharing of knowledge and accelerates technological advancement on a global scale. However, the transition to a Type 1 civilization comes with significant risks. Environmentally, the rapid industrialization required could worsen climate change if not carefully managed. There's also the danger of depleting Earth's resources if we don't balance our consumption. Moreover, competition for control over these resources could create geopolitical tensions. Developing nuclear fusion also carries the risk of causing catastrophic damage if not handled properly. The risk of easier access to the development of weapons of mass destruction with the advancement of technology, which leads to a need for diversification between planets if the human race wants to keep existing. In a Type 1 civilization, energy would be plentiful, likely becoming either very inexpensive or even free, making it accessible to everyone. The environment would benefit from reduced pollution due to the heavy reliance on renewable energy sources. Cities would be smart and efficient, with automated systems managing everything from traffic to energy usage. Communication would be instant and seamless worldwide, with advanced technologies like quantum internet becoming the norm. With global communication networks and advanced technology, a Type 1 civilization might also see the development of a universal language or real-time translation devices effectively eliminating language barriers worldwide. Moreover, space exploration would likely expand significantly. We could support large-scale space missions, even potentially colonizing nearby planets or moons. Technologies such as space-based solar power stations could further extend our energy reach beyond Earth. Work would become more specialized, and many generic jobs might be automated. Over time, as we become more connected and share resources more effectively, we could see the emergence of a more unified global culture instead of smaller pockets of different cultures, as we have right now. Type 2 a Type 2 or solar civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that is capable of star lifting, a theoretical concept in which a civilization is able to harness and utilize the total energy output of its star, such as our sun, instead of relying solely on the energy that naturally reaches their planet and their natural resources, as they would not be enough to fuel further developments in technology and science. One of the most famous concepts associated with reaching a Type 2 civilization is the Dyson Sphere, proposed by theoretical physicist Freeman Dyson in 1960. This hypothetical megastructure would be built around a star to capture most or all of its energy output. And while a solid shell is a popular science fiction idea, a more practical approach would likely involve a Dyson Swarm, a collection of solar-collecting satellites orbiting the star. With this energy, a Type II civilization could power massive industrial projects, support extremely large populations, and even begin large-scale space colonization across their solar system. In such a civilization, everyday life would be transformed. For instance, interplanetary travel might be as routine as air travel is for us, enabling people to live on different planets or in massive space habitats. People would live in O'Neill cylinders, a rotating space habitat that could house millions of people and create Earth-like environments in space. They might also use stellar engineering, the theoretical manipulation of a star's properties, such as altering the orbits of planets to optimize their solar system for human use, mine asteroids on an enormous scale, or extract resources from gas giants. Another intriguing possibility is that they could create artificial stars or smaller, controlled fusion reactors that mimic the processes of their star, providing even more energy. It is also interesting to consider the Great Filter theory when considering the leap to a Type II civilization. The Great Filter is a concept in the search for extraterrestrial life that suggests there might be a stage in the development of civilizations that is extremely difficult to overcome, hence why we haven't been able to contact any type of intergalactic civilization despite the largeness of the universe and the high probability 
probability of the existence of extraterrestrial life. This filter could lie behind us, meaning that humanity has already surpassed the hardest part of becoming advanced. Or it could be ahead of us, indicating that reaching a Type 2 civilization might be incredibly challenging or even impossible. Type 3 a Type 3 or galactic civilization on the Kardashev scale is one that can harness and control the energy output of an entire galaxy. This civilization would be able to utilize the energy from billions of stars, potentially even tapping into the energy of black holes or other cosmic phenomena to fuel their industrial necessities. One of the key concepts associated with a Type 3 civilization is galactic scale engineering, the theoretical concept of manipulating or constructing megastructures across an entire galaxy. This could involve creating massive structures, like a Dyson sphere around multiple stars or even entire star systems. The civilization might also build stellar engines, devices capable of moving stars stars or altering their energy output. With this vast amount of energy, a Type 3 civilization could power technologies that are beyond our current imagination, such as wormholes for faster-than-light travel or planet-sized computers capable of simulating entire universes. Moreover, a Type 3 civilization could harness the rotational energy of a black hole through a process known as the Penrose process, a theoretical method to extract energy from a rotating black hole by sending objects into its ergosphere, where they split, and part of their energy is captured or utilize Hawking radiation. The theoretical radiation emitted by black holes due to quantum effects, leading to their gradual evaporation over time as a power source. Another interesting concept to have in mind when imagining a Type 3 civilization is the Matryoshka brain, a theoretical megastructure composed of multiple layers of Dyson spheres around a star. Each layer would harness the star's energy to power immense computational systems, effectively turning the star into a galaxy-spanning supercomputer. It's a powerful blend of galactic-scale engineering and the ultimate fusion of technology and consciousness. In such a civilization, intergalactic travel might be as routine as interplanetary travel is for a Type II civilization. People could live on massive space stations or Dyson shells around different stars, and even in artificial worlds created to simulate any environment they desire. Resources would be practically limitless, and the civilization could undertake galactic-scale projects, like restructuring entire solar systems or terraforming planets across the galaxy. A Type III civilization would also likely have developed advanced AI systems capable of managing entire star systems or even galaxies. These AI systems could help in terraforming planets, maintaining Dyson swarms, and optimizing resource extraction across the galaxy. Post-biological life might also emerge, where consciousness could be transferred to machines or digital environments, allowing individuals to exist in a wide variety of forms or even spread their consciousness across the galaxy. Type 4 a Type IV or universal civilization on the Kardashev scale would have the capability to harness and control energy at the scale of the entire universe. This means they could tap into the energy of not just galaxies, but the fundamental forces of the universe itself, including dark matter and dark energy. Such a civilization could manipulate cosmic phenomena on an unprecedented scale, potentially controlling black holes, supernovae, and even altering the fabric of space-time. One intriguing concept is universal-scale engineering, where this civilization might create or destroy galaxies, build megastructures that span multiple star systems, or even design entire artificial universes. They could also utilize von Neumann probes, self-replicating machines that spread throughout the cosmos, harvesting resources and converting them into usable energy or infrastructure. Another fascinating theory is that a Type IV civilization might achieve quantum control over the universe, manipulating the quantum fields that underpin reality. This could allow them to alter physical laws, create stable wormholes for instant travel across the universe, or even access other dimensions. They might also harness exotic energy sources, like the energy from black hole evaporation or the vast stores of energy in the cosmic microwave background radiation. A Type IV civilization might engage in cosmic scale communication. Instead of using radio waves or light, they could utilize gravitational waves or neutrinos to send messages across the universe, or even employ quantum entanglement for instant communication over vast distances. Additionally, some theories suggest that a Type IV civilization could attempt to reverse entropy, effectively fighting the natural progression of the universe towards disorder. By harnessing incredible amounts of energy, they might be able to maintain structures and systems indefinitely, potentially achieving a form of immortality for themselves or their creations. In terms of existence, a Type IV civilization could transcend physical forms altogether. They might exist as pure energy or information, able to move freely through space and time. Their consciousness could be spread across galaxies, existing simultaneously in multiple locations or dimensions. This civilization might also be capable of creating simulations of entire realities where they could explore different possibilities of existence or even create new forms of life. Type 5 
A Type 5 or multiversal civilization on the Kardashev scale would have the ability to harness and control energy on a scale beyond the entire universe, potentially influencing multiple universes or dimensions. This level of civilization could manipulate not just physical laws, but also the fundamental structure of reality itself. For a Type 5 civilization, white holes could present an extraordinary opportunity for cosmic scale manipulation. These theoretical objects, which expel matter and energy instead of consuming them like black holes, could be harnessed to generate immense amounts of energy or create new cosmic structures. A Type 5 civilization might use white holes to continuously feed matter into their realm, aiding in the creation of new galaxies or replenishing resources on a grand scale. Additionally, if white holes are connected to black holes via wormholes, they could serve as a gateway from matter and energy to travel across different regions of the universe or even between multiple universes. One intriguing concept associated with a Type 5 civilization is multiverse engineering. They might possess the capability to create, manipulate, or travel between multiple universes, each with different physical laws or constants. This could involve constructing bubble universes within a larger multiverse, where each bubble has its own distinct set of properties and rules. Another fascinating idea is quantum reality manipulation, where a Type 5 civilization could control quantum fields and dimensions to an extent that allows them to alter or create entire realities. They might develop cosmic algorithms that govern or modify the fundamental nature of space-time, potentially reshaping entire universes or even creating new ones. Hyperdimensional travel might also be possible, where this civilization could move between different dimensions or planes of existence beyond the three spatial dimensions and time we experience. This would allow them to explore or exploit realms of existence that are entirely outside our current understanding. Additionally, a Type 5 civilization could harness transcendent energy sources, such as the energy from cosmic strings or the remnants of the Big Bang, which are theorized to exist at the boundaries of our understanding of the universe. They might also develop technologies to influence the fundamental constants of nature, such as the speed of light or gravitational forces, giving them control over the very fabric of reality. This level of advancement would imply that a Type 5 civilization could potentially have unlimited creative power, shaping not only their own universe, but multiple universes or dimensions. Type 6 a Type 6 or multidimensional civilization on the Kardashev scale would wield the power to control and manipulate entire multiverses far beyond the scope of a single universe. One intriguing concept is multiversal synthesis, where the civilization could create and fuse multiple universes to form complex new realities with brand new physical laws and constants. This could involve engineering diverse cosmic structures and experimenting with different fundamental forces to observe or utilize various forms of existence. Additionally, a Type 6 civilization might engage in cosmic harmonization, aligning the physical laws and constants across multiple universes to create a synchronized cosmic network. This could involve tuning the interaction between different universes to achieve large-scale phenomena or control multiversal-scale events with precision. Another captivating theory is cosmic resurrection, where they could revive or regenerate universes that have ceased to exist by harnessing residual energies from collapsed or extinct universes. This could allow them to restore or evolve entire cosmic systems, potentially guiding the rebirth of dead or dying universes into new forms. A Type 6 civilization could also explore temporal manipulation on a multiversal scale, controlling or altering the flow of time across different universes. They might be able to engineer time loops, synchronize temporal events across universes, or even create new dimensions of time that operate independently of conventional temporal laws. Moreover, they might master trans-universal communication, using advanced methods to send information or influence across different universes simultaneously. This could involve utilizing quantum entanglement across the multiverse, or developing entirely new forms of communication that transcend the traditional boundaries of space-time. Type 7 a Type 7 civilization on the Kardashev scale represents a level of advancement where the distinction between civilization and existence itself becomes indistinguishable. At this stage, the civilization's control and influence extend beyond the scale of all possible universes and multiverses. It encompasses the very nature of reality and existence. Transitioning from a Type 6 to a Type 7 civilization is considered impossible or nonsensical because Type 7 represents a state where the civilization is not merely manipulating or controlling multiple realities but has become the ultimate foundation and structure of existence itself. In this context, a Type 7 civilization is not just a master of all universes and multiverses, but rather the embodiment of the principles and forces that underlie all of reality. They would not be operating within or on top of a reality, 
Instead, they would be part of the fundamental reality that defines and creates all possible forms of existence. Because of this, a Type 7 civilization is defined more by its nature than by its technology or methods. It would transcend all conventional notions of physical or metaphysical capabilities, existing beyond the concept of civilization as we understand it. Therefore, discussing advancements or transitions beyond Type 7 becomes irrelevant because such a civilization would effectively be synonymous with the totality of existence, making the concept of further progression meaningless. If you want to discuss this video or suggest an idea for the next one, join my Discord. Link in the description.